scapular cogs. So the scapula is the shoulder blades. Now the shoulder blades in joint mechanics and motion should work in opposition, so it's good to do some activity that, that moves the shoulder blades where one does one movement and the other one does completely the opposing movement because that's how our shoulder blades do interact more often than not as we walk and run around. Um, so into a tall kneeling position, hands out to the side. So we're going to cue this using the arms. We're thinking that one arm is going to go into internal rotation. Now try not just to turn the arm bow. You want to feel like the rotation of the arm actually elevates the shoulder blade on that side. Now is be careful to bunch and contract your neck. You're not trying to force end range here. We're going to the natural end range of that upward rotation as the shoulder blade just softly lifts up. And then the opposite on this side. So I pull the thumb back and that's encouraging scapular downward rotation. So I have one shoulder blade lifted and one shoulder blade down. And you'll notice relative to that movement, my spine goes into a little bit of a lean, a little bit of lateral flexion, and that's perfect. That's exactly what we're looking to see. So you haven't got to try and force yourself upright. Allow the shoulder blades to drive the spine in one direction, and then you would alternate it to the other side. Same thing, not looking to bunch, just a little bit of subtle upper rotation coupled with the downward rotation here. And you just spiral back and forth. The second you've got the movement going, it's pretty comfortable to pattern that movement. From the rear, it should look like this. So this shoulder blade lifts up, this shoulder blade drops down, head stays centered. It's a great little filler to put into your upper body workout, just to really unlock the shoulder blades, which do get very tight and bunched down during weight training. 